Hello, it is Matarus, and we are playing Minecraft. Actually, Tech It or Technic. And today I'm doing a guide on EMC production, basically diamond production, because diamond is every girl's best friend. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna today I'm gonna show you three methods on how to produce EMC or diamonds or red matter or dark matter very quickly. Each one going pro progressively higher in how much diamonds you produce. So I'm gonna start off today with the cobblestone generator. And to make this, you need X amount of blocks breakers on how much you want. So it could be anything like three or five or eight. I can recommend about eight. That produces a nice amount. Um, you need about 20 redstone tubes with eight block breakers. So try and vary out about with how much you're gonna have. Um, an energy condenser, buckets of water and lava, a timer, a lever, and one redstone. This method make this method make makes 330 EMC per minute, and that is 2.4 diamonds per hour. And altogether, this is about six point no six diamonds to make. So to make a profit, you need a it needs to take a few hours. But this is really helpful, like. When you go mining or something, you come back and have a bunch of diamonds, like a few diamonds with you. So yeah, now I'll get into the tutorial on how to build this. So to start, you need to make a trench in the ground, which is one, two, three, four, five wide by how many block breakers you want. So I'm going to have three in this tutorial. And then you want to dig a block down, two blocks down where you want your water. So then you place the three block breakers facing you, breakers even, and place your, I think you only need one bucket of water. So you now put three, and your lava down. That should make cobblestone, there we go. And the next bit you dig down, just below your block breakers, I'm on a flat land, so the bedrock is right here. As this is just a tutorial. This is not my survival let's play or anything. So you just dig a little bit here and you go under all your block breakers. And you place a redstone tube. Oops. Under all of them. And then bring that out. Onto the land. And then you place your energy condenser. Actually let's bring this out one more. Place your energy condenser. And then your redstone. I like to place a lever. You don't have to. And turn it on as the levers can turn off the current and place back on when you want and as you can see when you turn this on and you can change this down I recommend about not 0 0.2 because that will drive you crazy with the sounds so about 0 0.5 maybe so it pulses every 0 0.5 and it collects quite a lot of redstone then you can put something in here target what you want and as you can see it doesn't generate much but the more block breakers you have as I said the more production you get so yeah that is the first method which is the cobblestone generator not too good but very cheap to make and yeah thank you and the next method I want to show you here is the milk maker which is a very fast method for how cheap it is well it's not that cheap but considering how fast it is it is quite cheap so um to make this, you need eight filters, four deployers, about 15 redstone tubes, two con energy condensers, about 10 diamonds to make all the buckets you need, a timer, eight jacketed wire, um, a lever, a method of getting a cow, which I'll show you an easy way to do that, red alloy wire, a few covers, um, and about 30 pneumatic tubes about and you can connect these as well like the last one and this makes around 2.5 diamonds a minute and it costs about 25 diamonds to make the whole thing and so it's 150 diamonds an hour that is really good and it takes about 10 minutes to make the whole thing back just from waiting there and as you can see it's all automatic you don't need to put anything in at certain times it just all does it all itself so now I'll get in on how to make so to get started on this guide here we need to make 
well, we need to place four filters around yourself like this and an energy condenser in the middle it's going all good now once you've done that you want to switch to your covers put this on top of all oh we need to shift click it so it doesn't go into the filter you need to put these on top of all the filters Oops. and on one of the sides you need to put an extra little bit coming out which looks kind of like a chair on it just one of the sides any one of them now once you've done that you want to place your redstone tubes wait no wait why is this not there we go and you want to place all the redstone tubes like that above the covers and one coming out of that and now what you want to do is place four filters above four of these redstone tubes like this exactly one hit one hit one hit and one hit and there's our eight filters used and you want to go into the middle here I have the screwdriver just in case I screw up and then you want to place one oh, there these are the deploys by the way like there and there and perfect ready for the next step now you want to place pneumatic tubes going from the bottom filters to the top deployer like so and just do this on all sides oops let's just fill that in looks horrible but who cares now you've done that round all your sides you need to get your jacketed wire put it up two of the sides opposite to each other so like here and here or here and here oops like that and then on one any one of the sides you need to at the bottom of the jacketed wire place a red alloy then another red alloy and then a lever and a timer I'll just set the timer to whoops what does that do I'll put it to 0.8 seconds so when I activate this, everything is going to pulse, but nothing's going to send out. And by the way, this is why we added this random cover bit here, to protect that. So, so now yeah. we need to fill all the filters and deployers with items. So in this filter, we will put a bucket and do these for all the bottom four. So one here, and one here. Then we want to do the same for the deployers. We want to put a bucket in each one. Yes, I've got not enough items on, just so I can easily do this. Whoops. Uh, and then you want to put a milk bucket and all of these fillers in the middle. Whoops. And like uh, that. And like that, you should be ready for the next Okay, step. now we need to put loads of stuff in the condenser. So if you put a condenser there, and then connect the redstone wire, it, the redstone pipe up to there. You can target diamonds in this one. Then you can get about ten diamonds. Target a bucket, then fill the chest up with about ten diamonds worth of buckets, and it's full. Now you're next. Now we want to get the cow, and I'll show you a method to do that. So if you just block the bottom up and do it with cobble cover, then. You, because it's a chicken, it will. You can jump quite high, or jump out. So uh, we need to cover it with cobblestone. And now we want to spawn a chicken using eggs. This is based on luck. Why not even get one? Hopefully, we will eventually. There's one. There's a baby chicken. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if we have to somehow get that out of the corner. But it should be okay. Now we want to use our. Um, release charge key which mine is Z yours could be R just check in your control panel and then you want to just do this on the chicken this will use coal or any type of oh god well I guess we better do that again oh sorry and then we want to until we get a cow this is base that's a test difficult there's a cow then you want to do you want to put uh, something over it? I'm going to use a cover. 
And there's your cow. What is this doing? Shoot. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it because I can't risk. Yeah, okay, now for the Now if you've set all up right with all the filters and everything. And deployers and the filters there, we should, if we just pull this lever, should start sending out buckets and stuff like that. And bucket milk buckets should start coming out. And the condenser will look a bit weird, but it should catch up with itself. Slowly but surely. Might as well just help this along. <laughs> it will catch up, Just we just help that. And now we can see buckets coming out and making us diamonds. Look how quickly this is going. We have a diamond already. And there's quite a lot more. So, as you can tell, this is quite quick, and but it's quite hard to set up. It's probably the hardest machine to set up out of them all. But now you should know how to do it, so yeah. This is now on to the next method. And I'm back, and this is the last method, which is the ultimate method. And this is what I call the flower of power, as it is a solar flower thing, but it is producing a lot of power. And this is the hardest but easiest to make. <laughs> if you not if you you don't won't know understand what I mean right now. But I mean hardest is in the hardest to get materials from. But easiest as in easiest to remember and actual make. And yeah, so this produces about seven diamonds a minute. Yep, seven diamonds a minute. And this for, and this turns out about four hundred and twenty diamonds an hour. Yep. But to make it all, it costs 1,900 diamonds to make it all. Yep, it costs a lot. and So that takes about four hours of just of this building up to work back all the diamonds you spent. Yeah, this costs a lot, but it is very good. And to make it, you need 17 collectors. I'm using Mark III for all of these, except for the condenser, because you can't get marks on those. But, um... If you weren't using Mark III, you'd have to have glowstone on top because Mark III produced their own light, so you don't need glowstone. And um, yeah, so 17 Mark III collectors and five Mark III relays, antimatter relays, and one energy condenser. And altogether, that costs a lot of EMC. As I said, that's about 1,900 diamonds. About not a s not a exact um, number, it's just a guess. No, not a guess, but a rough average. So yeah, I'll get on how to make it. And yes, making it is the easiest part of it all. So to start with, you just want to make a four holes in the ground with one left, one block left, as you could just delete. Do you know, I think you need that there for now. And you put four collectors, they're the gold ones. And you put relays on top of them. And around the relays, you want to put collectors everywhere around it. You don't put a collector here because that's how you get into the condenser. So now you put, you need a shift click on here as well. Then you put um, collectors over it. And then you put a relay there and then a collector over that. And that's basically it done, except from the last bit which is adding a condenser right in the middle of the relays and targeting a diamond or something and look how fast that is getting EMC and there's one diamond basically the co the collectors pass on power to the antimatter relays then they pass on all their power to the energy condenser which gets us diamonds that is basically the ultimate way of diamonds so end game you need to do that and then you get insane amount for an insane price so yeah if you if you if this guide helped you at all um, it would be extremely helpful as it's my first guide to hit that like button it takes two seconds out of your amazing life which is probably amazing might not be you might not like it <laughs> but it probably is good even if you don't like your life probably amazing so yeah thank you for watching bye bye